My last name, Larkin. Before this day's out, I'll be back in kindergarten. Started out as a prank, but then got way out of hand. See, now the whole town's shouting, hey, what's with Andy? I'm the best, I'm the greatest. Joke, everybody. What's with Andy? What, what's with Andy? I'm a trick playing gangster. What's with Andy? You're probably wondering why I'm being carried around a stage by a bunch of hyperactive kindergarten kids. Well, it's weird how things work out. <laughs> Attention, students. Superintendent Pratt is coming to school today for the annual school funding and nitpicking inspection. So, everybody put on your best face, because if you don't, it is your bottom. Nothing must go wrong. I want to show him that this school is perfect. What? How did this get under my radar? These are the kind of moments that I live for. Danny! Yes? We have a perfect setup, but I need prep time. I can't put together a prank of this magnitude without a little advance notice. Don't tell me. You have the perfect plan. I do, but first I have to get kicked out of school, go home, get supplies, come back, and start messing things up. You could easily get kicked out of school. Just be obnoxious and annoying. You're good at that. The award for the most annoying kid on the planet goes to Andy Larkin. Mr. Hutchins approaching. Better get going. No time to lose. I will not let Andy get to me today. I will not let Andy get to me today. I will not let Andy get to me today. You can do it, Hutchins. You can do it. I hope. Oops. Andy! Ah, oh, drat! Well, you got me. Caught me red-handed. No doubt about it, Mr. Hutchins. I did it. I guess you'll have to send me home. Andy? You are... You are... Quite a fine artist. Huh? <gasps> Brilliant use of line, color, and chalk. You like it? I love it. Only if I may be so bold to suggest, I would go further. Push yourself. You must exaggerate. Go for blood. <laughs> so, it's a battle he wants. They say you are the best. They do not lie. Okay, time for plan B. A totally guaranteed success. I've been training this snake for months. Today's the day we see if the training paid off. Make me proud. Go, go, go! Oh, oh, uh. yeah, yeah. Oh, ah. well, what is that? Wow, a garter snake. How fun! Andy, thanks for bringing it in. It'll round out our terrarium nicely. He's left us no choice. We gotta go with plan C. I just hope we don't have to go all the way to plan Z. Blood pellets. Guaranteed to make at least one person faint or barf. So all we need now is a little argument. Excuse me? Mega Fudge Crunch is the best ice cream in the world. No way. Spicy Monkey Caramel Chunks is the best ice cream in the world. This means war. Prepare to fight. Andy, you can't start a fight. It's against school rules. Mr. Hutchins will surely send you home. Aww. Ah, ah, ah. But who is master now? <laughs> this will be happy time to teach you to fight the losing way. <laughs> two for two. Not bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Hutchins. I couldn't control myself. I guess I'll have to pay my debt to society now and go home. No. I want to thank you for your demonstration of the physics of falling objects, which leads into our science lesson about Sir Isaac Newton and the laws of gravity. You mean you're not sending me home? No, Andy. I'm not. You're staying right here. No! You have to send me home. I've broken three rules. I made fun of a teacher. I endangered the life of a helpless snake. I started a fight. I should be sent home immediately, if not sooner. What kind of a loony bin is this that a guy can't get kicked out of his own class? What in the world is going on? Andy Larkin? 
If you're gonna act like a child, then you will be treated like a child! We are sending you... Home? To kindergarten! Kindergarten? Yes. You get to finger paint and play with blocks and make the train go choo-choo! But I haven't been to kindergarten since... well, since I was in kindergarten. Well, maybe you'll learn a thing or two this time! Sending Andy to kindergarten, maybe... I want him out of the way when the superintendent's here. Come on, Larkin. Time for kindergarten! At this point, everything is going wrong. Being sent to kindergarten was not part of my plan. Who put the super in superintendent? I'll answer that. It's Mr. Pratt. Yeah, you're right. That's what we meant. Hi, Mr. DeRosa. We were just practicing a cheer for Superintendent Pratt. That's excellent. Why can't you be more like your sister? It's a very expensive operation. Now that kind of remark is exactly why I am sending you to kindergarten to stop. Hey, Jen, why is your brother such a loser? Uh, no way. If I were you, I would be totally dying from embarrassment. Uh, oh. Mrs. Pringle, Andy Larkin will be joining your class. It seems he doesn't know how to act his age. So we thought we'd bring him down here to kindergarten. Keep him here all day. Have fun, Larkin! <laughs> well, boys and girls, looks like we have a new friend joining us today. Say hello to Andy. Hello, Andy. Now, Andy, sit down and join us for story time. <laughs> On the floor, please, Andy. Great. I'm trapped in preschool when I should be at home planning the downfall of my school. Once upon a time, there was a little cat named Itty Bitty Pretty Kitty. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. What's the matter, Andy? Would you like to read to the class? No, thanks. Actually, I think it's a wonderful idea. And Itty Bitty Pretty Kitty saw Tippy Tiger and said, Hi, Tippy, isn't it a super duper day? He's not doing the right voice. I can't understand him. He smells! Let's have fun, fun, fun. Let's pick a flower. He's Let's... too big. He's not a kid. He's in my space. He's sitting on my square. I wet my pants. Now, children, you're making Andy feel sad. See how sad you're making him? How about we have art time? Get your smocks. I'll put on some nice music to paint to. I'm playing catch with people who just recently learned to go to the bathroom in a toilet instead of their pants. Jet, please! I can't believe I'm gonna miss a golden opportunity for a Class A guaranteed successful prank. <sighs> I've got the deep down and dirty Stuck in kindergarten blues Oh yeah I'm so low down and depressed I feel lower than my shoes My joke's all a mess And I'm searching for some clues Could be at home working On my super pranking plan but I'm eating carrot sticks Cause I done stuck it to the man I got the deep down and dirty Stuck in kindergarten blues Oh man Kids all fall down and go boom! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 you big babies! <laughs> he does this to us every day. Hey, 
What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you're new, aren't you? You got a big head for a kindergartner. What are you, the elephant kid? <laughs> do you mean do I suffer from neurofibromatosis? The answer is no. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare, punk. And if you ever bother my fellow classmates again, I'm gonna purple nurple you to within an inch of your life. Uh, no! Please don't! Uh, can you really do that? I'll be glad to show you. Ah! Mommy! Thanks, Andy. You're our hero. If we can ever help you. Yeah, sure, kid. Andy! 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 Well, watch the fingers. <laughs> kindergarten. Shoot. I'm still in kindergarten. Superintendent Pratt arrives in half an hour. Wake up, kitties. Nap time's over. Now, most people would give up in a situation like this. But not me, because I'm about to get a brilliant idea. Here's your chance to help me out, my little thespians. What he calls? Thespians. It's Greek for actors. Now, we're going to put together a little show that East Gackle will never forget. A show that'll rock this joint. Jen, what are you doing here? Checking up on you. Uh, why don't you come in and show the kids some cheers? I like cheerleaders. No way, Andy. I'm telling Mr. DeRosa what you're up to. And what am I up to? I'm not completely sure, but I know it's evil, and you're going down. Fat chance. Don't make me stop you. You're right. You and what army? This army! <laughs> These little brats. Mm. Yeah. Seize her! What does seize mean? Get her! <laughs> yeah! She'll trip. They always do. Oh, or that could happen. Why are you doing this? Where are you taking me, you evil kids? That Jennifer Larkin is such a jewel. Never too busy to play with the children. You two stand guard. Yes, sir. We won't let you down. If she tries anything, feel free to brutally tickle her or burp in her face. Denny, Andy. <laughs> Mr. Hutchins, look! Haley's Comet making a completely unscheduled appearance. What? Where? Where? I'll go get a camera. All right, I need one 500-watt amplifier, eight pairs of tap shoes, size four, a case of baby powder, 100 pounds of clay, a riding crop, a pair of stilts, a gallon of paint, a megaphone, two trash cans, and a very large jar of petroleum jelly. No problem. I thought you were going to ask me for some hard stuff. See you in 20. Listen up. It's the moment of truth. Our mission could be dangerous. Some of you may not make it back in one piece. Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! To the auditorium! Let's take it from the top with feeling. East Gackle Penguins love Mr. Pratt. Now to get rid of this minor problem. Mrs. Wilmer! Mrs. Wilmer! It was just on the news. The likable American choir came down with simultaneous sore throats. They need a choir to fill in at the White House. Quick! Start selling candy bars to earn your way to Washington! We'll do it! Greetings, Superintendent. Hello, Superintendent. Welcome, Superintendent! Rig that light! Raise that curtain! Don't paint your classmates! Everything is going precisely as planned. Nothing can stop us now. Nothing! <laughs> Must save school from... <laughs> freak brother! Hello, Superintendent Pratt. Welcome to East Gackle School. I think you'll be very impressed with what you see today. Doc is cheap. Show me. Oh, uh, well, we've prepared a special presentation for you. Lead on. 
Okay, I know you've been sweating and working and busting your butts for almost 20 minutes, but now it's showtime, and you have to go out there and do it to it. You're putting all your money on a bunch of little kids who just learned how to count? One, two, four. Curtain up in one minute. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead meat, Andy. Our uh, student body president, Jen Larkin, was supposed to have introduced our presentation, but I guess she got tied up with uh, one of our many school charities. So, to honor our distinguished guest, Superintendent Pratt, here is from East Gackle School with love. Wait! Yeah. Oh no, I'm too late. I hope you don't think a cute little show is going to win me over. Uh, no, sir. Hello, everybody. My name's Andy. What's yours? Uh-huh. Welcome to East Gackle School, where everything is perfect. The students are perfect, the teachers are perfect, even the principal is perfect, and everyone is happy. You don't believe me? Just ask the students. They'll tell you. We are perfect little students in a perfect little school. We do everything we're told, and we never break a rule. And everything is perfect, just as perfect as can be. And if you don't believe us, you can take a look and see. Reading, writing, arithmetic. Every day it makes us sick. We're trapped in school and can't get out. Hear a please, hear a shout! Good morning, students. Your teacher is here. Don't be frightened. There's nothing to fear. Ready to learn? Quiet, please. Now it's time for your ABCs. A, B, and C makes me happy. D, E, and G, we're so gloomy. H, I, and J, things never go our way. K, L, and M, I agree with them. N, O, and P, I have to pee. Q, R, and S, we're in distress. T, U, and D, I still have to pee. W, X, Z, please set us free! Wait a minute, you forgot the letters Y and F. Why? Because you all get an F. Oh, no. So, Mr. Smarty Pants, you think you're invincible? I guess I'll just have to send you to the principal. No, no, anything but that. I hear he eats children, and that's why he's fat. I've got to stop this. Huh? You are history! <coughs> Superintendent Pratt, I, I, I... Don't explain. I'm going to take care of this personally. Here we go. No matter what the punishment is, it'll be worth it. Prank Hall of Fame, get ready to elect a new master. Oh, you are gonna regret that you ever woke up this morning. Young man, I want to congratulate you. You do? You do? I loved your show. It was bold, brave, and thought-provoking. A postmodern, pre-apocalyptic re-examination of the educational system as urban nightmare. Huh? Huh? Absolute genius. Oh, yes, uh, it was quite, uh, quite a spectacle. I was the one who put Andy in kindergarten. I suggested he do a show and... Clamp it, DeRosa. Oh. You know, I wanted to be an actor. I ran away to Broadway. But my father caught me, 
dragged me back and made me be superintendent of schools. Okay, this is really weird. I guess I should just smile and go along with it. Andy, I want to give you something. I know I'm supposed to wait until the end of the year to give this out, and it might be a bit unfair to the other students, but I want to present you with the Student of the Year Medal of Honor. Well, this wasn't exactly the medal I wanted to win, but hey, what the heck? Me, Student of the Year. <laughs> Go figure. Andy! Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.